For this people trafficker, it looks like a routine transaction. But this is a police sting, with detectives posing as buyers. A hidden camera in the car captures the criminal, confirming that he's selling two women for $2,000 each. Once the deal is done, police arrest the trafficker and the women. Detectives say the women were part of the gang. They plan to run away from their buyer, then repeat their scam all over again. Using recordings and other techniques, the special unit countering people trafficking says they were able to go to court with the evidence. The seller is saying, it is true that I have dealt with you and told you about the $2,000. He confesses to have received the money in exchange for the women. The man was sentenced to six years in jail. It's an extraordinary web of human trafficking and modern-day slavery. Investigators have found nurses abducting babies, children being sold for body parts, and women being trapped in prostitution. The U.S. State Department says the Iraqi government doesn't meet the minimum standards for the elimination of people trafficking. The director of Iraq's anti-trafficking unit says significant efforts are being made. We've busted around 60 organized crime networks, some with human trafficking and others within the organs trade. Two elements are spreading. One is street beggars using minors and the other is young rural girls being deceived and sold to work as dancers in cafes. 17-year-old Hannah that's not her real name, says she met a man on Facebook. But when she ran away from home to marry him, she was drugged, abducted and raped. The Iraqi teenager was sold multiple times, forced into prostitution and made to take illegal drugs. After having an abortion, she lives in fear that her kidnappers will find her again. Three years after being rescued, she told the court about the pimps who abused her. They came to our house with other people and threatened us to drop the case, but I refused. I have no future. I'm forced to stay home as they may kill me. I lost the respect of my relatives too. No one speaks to me after what happened. Hannah's family accepted her back and now protect her. That's rarely seen in Iraq, and thousands of young women in shelters across the country are not so lucky. Leaders in Baghdad say they're serious about tackling people trafficking. But with limited resources and faced with well-connected, organized gangs, a lot more remains to be done. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.